Namaste, my friends, and welcome back home to the Tranibus Kitchen here in the Los Angeles headquarters. I am so excited to introduce this awesome, awesome meal that we are going to be preparing, as well as in the actual The Tranibus Kitchen airing at 7 p.m. Pacific time. I cannot wait to welcome Barbie Somers to the stage, to the Tranibus Kitchen. It's going to be an absolute blast. She has done so many things in the cannabis industry that truly excite me, like high dining and all of her chronicles of her travels. I mean, it's just incredible what she's doing and she's here in California. And although we have not physically met, we have communicated otherwise and clearly there is a soul friendship bond there and it's just gonna be an absolute blast. For those who do not know, I am Chef Tranibus, AKA Jamie London Wahlberg. My pronouns are he, him, and it's an honor to have you here. This is season two, episode four is pre-show. And during the pre-show, for those who are new to the pre-show, we do a very quick 20 minute pre-show where we start to prepare and I go over the recipe and so on. And so just because we are at a somewhat time crunch for this recipe, we are going to start to actually prepare what we're making. So what are we making? Well, we are of course making something infused with fruit slabs. Shout out to fruit slabs. Thank you so much for always being an incredible sponsor. We are going with the Mango Maui Wowie, which has a hint of the coconut shreds. We have the CBD and THC versions. We're gonna do a five to one CBD to THC. So this is definitely microdosing. This is great for anybody who wants to have something that is very light, someone who has inflammation and so on. And it's going to be absolutely delicious. This recipe is going to be vegetarian, dairy-free and gluten-free. So I am ready to showcase what we are putting these in, but before we do, if you don't know, Fruit Slabs are a kosher certified vegan, organic, no preservatives, no sugars added, organic fruit leather. It has cannabis and fruit, that's it. It's an incredible product, it's very simple, and it's incredibly diverse and shelf stable to eat right offhand or to do whatever you like with it. And that's a huge part of why I love cooking with them. So what are we making? We're making fruit slabs infused mushroom patties. And I am really excited to try this recipe. I've somehow never made mushroom patties before in my memory. And my guides gifted me with this recipe a couple days ago and I'm really excited. Uh, even though my chickpeas didn't arrive and so we are going to go with sweet peas. So what happens first is right now we are going to boil this water first We've got probably about a cup, cup and a half of water in here uh, right now. And we are going to be boiling so that we can put in our tricolored quinoa. This is going to be our grain base, so to speak, of our actual um, patties because we want to make sure that we get all sorts of nutrients in there. So we are going to boil this up. We're going to put in about a cup of the tricolored quinoa because we're gonna make tons of patties. I'm looking forward to freezing these. I'm gonna show you how to go about that. Uh, and once we do, we're gonna put this in and start getting it together. We're going to bring it to a boil and then we're going to simmer it. We are only cooking this for a few minutes because we are going to be cooking the whole patty in a saute pan later and we don't want to overcook. So we're gonna cook this to basically al dente like pasta, kind of half cook, so about you know, five to seven minutes is really all it's gonna take. And then we're gonna put it into this big bowl after we strain it to hang out uh, in there and cool. Namaste Barbie, looking forward to having you soon. So right now we're already at a boil. So I'm just gonna toss this in and then we will go over the rest of what we are putting in our recipe. Sending some love and gratitude right now to my quinoa. I also uh, got Holy Fire Reiki 3 1 and 2 level certified over the weekend. And so we are going to be for the first time ever in the Trimbus Kitchen bringing Reiki into it. And I've already uh, sent Reiki to the episode, to the food, to the plant spirit. So this is boiling a lot. All right. Next, what's happening is all of our ingredients here that are here, except for the fruit slabs, 
are going to go into this food processor. So we're going to start loading up the food processor and we're going to cut things down and prepare them and clean them up so that way we're making sure that it's really easy to put in the food processor we can fit a lot in there. Because we're going to be grinding this up to be essentially like a coarse meal. Something that's going to be wet enough and have enough water content that we can compact it and that it's going to conjoin and come together. Uh, but also we want to make sure that we're not pulverizing everything that we're putting in here. So what's going in? We've got three types of mushrooms. Uh, these are all these organic um, mushrooms, so that's why they're so big and beautiful. Uh, we have shiitake mushrooms, we've got baby bellas, and then we've got, uh, these are like the parent of the white button mushrooms. Uh, they ran out, I guess, of the button mushrooms. We are going to be putting in three quarters of sweet peas, uh, or you can use chickpeas. We are using just about a tablespoon of olive oil. Okay, we're going to lower the temperature here. Um, and that olive oil is going to just be for our sauteing. We've got our liquid egg whites. This is going to help us to actually combine this recipe. Then we have some bell peppers. I'm going to start taking everything out and washing them. We have a green bell pepper. We've got a red bell pepper. And we've got a yellow bell pepper because we want this to be colorful and beautiful and appetizing. Within that vein, we have some baby rainbow carrots. We've got one green zucchini. And then comes uh, some vegan Parmesan cheese that we're going to just put a little bit and sprinkle it in here to add a little bit of cheesiness. You could certainly add uh, more than that. You know, I am going to turn this kind of into a uh, burger situation, but keeping it just ultra, ultra simple, just really the patty and uh, the bread, because ultimately, um, right now, I'm got, I need to be gentle to my tummy, but we, we've got actually, instead of buns, I'm going with these English muffins um, that are honey whole grain, uh, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, so I'm looking forward to using those buns, and we're going to just Stick that kind of behind there for a second because we need the space. For our spices, we're going to use kosher salt. We are going to be using some ground ginger. We're going to be using some ground cumin. We're going to be using some ground paprika. We're going to be using some ground turmeric. We're going to be using some black pepper. And that's it. It's a very simple recipe. So once we chop up all the vegetables and the spices, we're going to put those in here. Then we're going to grind it up into basically a coarse grain, maybe a little bit bigger, because then we're going to add in on a very gentle pulse our cheese and our egg, liquid egg whites just so that it can all combine together. And then once all of that is situated, we're going to be putting it into the big bowl with the quinoa, mixing in the quinoa, and then we're going to form them into patties. Once we form them into patties, we're going to saute them, and that's it. It's a very, very simple recipe, so I'm really looking forward to it. Our quinoa is boiling away, so everything is great. Quinoa is one of those things that can be really tricky to cook because if you turn away for five seconds, you could accidentally overcook it. And since we're only partially cooking it, I really want to keep an eye on it. Right now, all this is great because my smell's coming back from COVID. So what's a uh, big help is that I can start to actually smell the quinoa. When you first put the quinoa in, there's no smell that's coming from the water, but the aroma and the vapor right now is coming up at me and that's gonna be super duper helpful. I'm gonna be putting all of these into these new bowls that I got, so that way for the show, it's gonna be nice and pretty and way easier for you to see everything. So we're basically going to start washing that and putting everything uh, into bowls and getting it ready at this point. So if anyone has any questions, Namaste, Esprit1805, and uh, Artistic Cannabis and Anti-Corporate Cannabis. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Trinidad's pre-show. We've just gone over what's going in our recipe. We're in our process of prepping our recipe. We're doing fruit slabs infused mushroom patties. So right now, I'm gonna grab some of these bigger bowls, and I'm gonna grab some little bowls. And we're just going to get 
counter cells kind of set up here. I got these new bowls to, so that I could be like fancy and really show you everything ahead of time now that the show time has shortened, etc., etc. So we are going to move things aside. The mushrooms, I'm going to show you how to clean those because they're sponges basically, right? They soak things up. So we, we don't actually want to add water to them. Um, our cheese can hang out. But actually, we can put our, put our cheese in this bowl here. So this is some vegan, gluten-free Parmesan cheese. And I have more mushrooms if I need, but I don't think I'm going to need more mushrooms. Let's check on our quinoa. Okay, so these are still cooking along, still pretty hard. I'm keeping the heat at a medium, basically just like almost a little bit less than medium. Because although we are boiling this right now, again, if I turn up the heat, it's going to overcook them really fast. And that's how you know, because it just you see all the spirals and it's mushy and gross. We don't want our patties to be mushy. Um, it's not going to be enjoyable. So we're taking off all stickers. That is like the first thing that I do when I am about to wash my veggies is I take off the stickers. Because let me tell you something, there's nothing enjoyable about getting a sticker in your mouth and accidentally cooking that. It's really not great. Um, so, all right, we're gonna use six baby rainbow carrots. So we two, three, four, five, six. Look how pretty. Nice and colorful. Okay, if anybody has any questions at all about what I'm doing in the recipe before the show, uh, let me know. So, here comes our pepper. We're doing six shakes of pepper. And this is always an initial, right? You can always add more. Taking away is significantly, significantly harder. We're doing three shakes of turmeric. I'm going to start to put things away. I really like an organized kitchen. What I'm doing right now is called setting up my mise en place, which literally in French translates to everything in its place. So the goal of that when you are a chef is that you are ready for absolutely anything. You have all the things that you could possibly need that are with you, and that, you know, that requires a lot of quick thinking. Just putting a little bit of our kosher salt here. You notice my cabinets are totally busted. Okay, so they're starting to open up. So again, we want to be mindful since we're going to be cooking the patties <clears throat> again later. So we want to make sure Just about a pinch, whoops, wrong jar. Where am I small? But oh, these are the small ones. Just feels really big for some reason. Just about a pinch of ginger. Come on. Okay. What do we got next? We have what we need. Two more littles. Here comes our cumin. We're going to do three small sh shakes here of cumin. Yes, everyone, please follow Fairy Jane, which is Barbie Summers. Now that she'll be using, it's a really, really fun and whimsical count. Now we've got our paprika. We're doing three shakes of paprika. Just kidding, I also want another one. Okay. 
Okay, here's our olive oil. are coming together here. Let's check on our quinoa. This is almost ready. egg whites for last because uh, I like to have them nice and fresh. The same thing with the rolls, which is why I did not open them. These are frozen sweet peas, so they've been out defrosting for a little while. We're putting about three quarters of a cup. And have a good trick, by the way, for those who are looking to defrost something naturally or need something to defrost just a little bit longer, or you're, for example, cooking a stock or something, anytime you have something cooking, it's generating heat, right? So when I'm defrosting something to make it defrost even that much faster, I just place it right here at the edge towards the actual heat. And that, believe it or not, is actually sufficient enough Oh, these bowl stack, that's very helpful. Is actually efficient enough to start to heat that. In lieu of also, see this bowl's already gotten warm. With the cheese, we want to keep the cheese far away from that. So let's put away the rest of the peas. I don't want to defrost and use them now. The vegetables we're going to cut on the show and everything like that. I always want to make sure that I'm showing you all the fun stuff and the things that require, you know, skills. Um, okay, what did I have this before? Okay, one is for egg whites. Where's my else? Okay. Um, here's our bread, which we now have space for. All right, let's open up our slabs. So again, we are using five of the CBD and one of the THC. So this is what they look like, these little fruit leathers. This is 10 milligrams per a square, whether it's the THC or CBD. These are their broad spectrum CBD for the Mango Maui Wow. I absolutely love them. Not careful, I could just literally eat this whole bag. <laughs> so we're going to place our slabs in here. And they're super sticky, so we want them to be separate because eventually these are going to go actually as is directly on to the patty. And this is actually a first, because usually I'm mincing the fruit slabs. I don't usually use them in their whole form. And we're going to turn it into like a little flower of fruit slabs onto our patty. Uh-oh, see? You don't pay attention. Okay, perfect. These are al dente. Turning this off. Pulling this off the heat and we're taking a little mesh strainer. Uh, you could do this in any number of ways, but this is really the easiest way to do it. Want to make sure the handles are not too hot. I'm going to use the one that was further away from the burner. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to put on an oven mitt. All right. So these will definitely be small enough that it won't fall through the strainer. So you can just pour that right on. Nice and gentle. 
And that is it for the show, for the prep. We're ready to go. I'm just going to rinse these off, and then that is an absolute wrap. This is strained. So thank you so much to all who have chosen to watch and hang out for the pre-show. I hope that you learned something that will be ultimately useful to you, and I'm looking forward to seeing you. We usually have to find the slabs the next day. Yes, I know, you can never see them. That's true. That's true. All right, my friends. Well, I'm going to wrap this up, and I will see you all at 7 p.m. Pacific time, wherever you're watching this right now. Come right back, and we will be here with the Fairy Jane, and I can't wait. Namaste. I love you. I love you. I love you. See you all soon.